TJ's just sitting there doing his social media on occasion, chiming in, and then just forgetting about the fact that the Clippers could add another layer of misery onto that house of misery that they're putting new layers of paint on every single year. I think this year, whole brand new house. Game seven, Kawhi's going to take it down. Maybe it sits on the rim three, three, four bounces, just like against this, your, your Sixers last year. At least it'll help. It'll help, help be for your team this year. Yeah. What if they're down Not like your 10 early? Oh. What, like, are you going to shut it off? No. Are you no. Gonna, We're a third quarter team. Now, let me ask this question. May I? Sure. Thank it's you. your show. No, thank you. Uh, but I say may I because it's this is you know we're 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 friends and everybody out there talks to friends about sports too. Like I don't know if this is this is appropriate. So are you <laughs> are you going to are you going to not look at your text? Like do we do we text oh, you? Oh yeah yeah. Mid game like what what what's appropriate? Do you think like because if if the Clippers are down ten, I'm gonna start firing off. I mean, uh, you know, memes right? and yeah, like okay. you know, so gifs. You know what I'm saying? What do we do? How how do we handle your nervousness tonight, TJ? <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, you know, I used to be a super duper fan, right? Super duper fan meant when it came to Cowboys games on Sundays, if we'd lose, I'd be mad to Wednesday. Like I took it very, very seriously. Okay. A few years you're ago, grown. you're 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 you've matured. You've yeah. matured. A few but years I'm, ago, I had to let that go, man. So it's you know, I'll be upset. But you know, not to bring this down, but like, there's way bigger things going no, on in the I, world. I, I get so it. So I can't allow myself to get wow. so he's already caught front up. loading. He he's front already loading. front loading, loading the misery, like right there yeah, what we're yeah, seeing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not denigrating the fact that, of course, there's more important yeah. things in the world right here. But for you to front load tonight's game seven action with the uh, with the uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, like you can't grand scheme of things prior to a game seven you just can't do it why not? no matter with what's no matter how horrible our world is right now right now and by the way you, you can't say, do it you said the clippers are a third quarter team they have blown enormous <laughs> third quarter leads each of the last two games look at him. and that's what look at him. Me. his <laughs> team's already passed the game seven into the eastern conference finals it starts tonight yeah so he's water skiing behind that yacht right he's, now he's, he's doing well right yeah. now yeah you know, just the fact though that they've never broken through and this is the possibility going into tonight, even with Kawhi. And they traded all those draft picks. I think you're fine. They got Kawhi. I they think got you're Paul fine. George. I think you're fine. What's worse? <laughs> us texting him with the Clippers down 10 in the first half? Or up 10. Or up 10. Up 10. Uh, let me you got this. Like, well, you text, you got this. Job, you got congrats. this. I told you you Cruising got this. Like, what's worse? What's worse <laughs> to do to a friend? Up to I'm I'm up for people giving us etiquette up, up, tips up, up for ten. going into tonight at eight four four two zero four. Also, by the way, if the Clippers blow it tonight, mm -hmm. Doc Rivers hot seat. Oh come on, no way. Why not? Why not? Come on. And by the way, just so you guys know, why not? You texting me is the least of my problems. I have Laker. <laughs> Fans who, uh -huh. who can point, pinpoint every big Laker moment to my reaction. Coach Jay French and Daniel Acuna, you know who I'm talking about. They are already on me. They, they, they're they photoshopping shots of the show and on this whiteboard writing stuff in group texts like Lakers and five. So they've already started. They're, so those are the ones I'm worried about. Here's an interesting thing to ask a Laker fan right now. Okay. Right now, you can have one of two things. All right. Should we text O'Shea Jackson? Because uh, I, know, I know what his re immediate reaction will be, and, <laughs> and, and I know what the ultimate answer is, but they'd have to pause. Hold on. Let me write this. I'm going to tweet this out. Because they know LeBron's coming back next year and AD's coming back next year, and they know that this season has been totally whacked out. Mm -hmm. If they could have a Laker championship this year or the Clippers losing Game 7 for them to be able to deliver this message to you, and the rest of Clipper Nation, what would they rather have? They, they would immediately say, oh, you know, normally. But think they'd, about it. But they, they'd have to they'd be a little hitch in their giddy up. All right, I'm going to put I'm gonna put that as a poll. Well, I mean, people, the problem with a poll is it doesn't have the infused and the inflection of my voice where I totally understand you can have a championship. Mm -hmm. But they also know they've got LeBron and AD in their back pocket one more season. But to get the misery for the Clipper fans that think they're back and for this to happen, they they'll, be, they'll enjoy it. A little bit. Laker fans really look at us as the redhead stepchild. I know that. But they would love for you because 
that that if you will stepchild has been talking i still think you're fine i think you win it all how about that god if you're listening help <laughs> well <clears throat> nba news about uh from uh one player's what is it instagram no longer follows no longer talks no is it twitter and instagram it's uh, all it's, social it's media instagram for the for the uh, nba Hoops player uh -huh. and and Twitter, Twitter for the, for NFL, the NFL, player. NFL player. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, um, more NFL news. Aaron Andrews and your phone calls, 844-204-RICH, number to dial. Our poll question is, which team should be panicking the most after one week in the National Football League? Our previous guest, Mike Florio, says it's the Niners, and they're not even a choice. <laughs> we'll chat with Aaron Andrews in hour number three, and with you, 844-204-RICH. I'm, I'm, you know, I know that Laker fans want to win it all, but you could, you could be able to sit back and watch this. You're, you're already going to, you, you, you know, you will take care of the Nuggets. All due respect to the Nuggets, you know you're taking, you know you're going to the finals, you know you're doing that. What? Yeah, come on. If you're a Laker <laughs> fan. You're a Laker fan. You're rooting for the Nuggets tonight in every possible way because of two reasons. One, it would, it would just give them such fun to go against the, Cl the Clipper fans that have been, you know, barking yeah. at them, yapping. And two, you would much rather face a team that does not have Kawhi Leonard on it. Yeah. And two, absolutely. Nuggets are on so fire, you're, you're, Laker fans are, are putting Nuggets flags on their cars driving <laughs> around Los Angeles today. They're taking off their Laker flags and putting on the Nuggets flags. You know you're in the finals. You're going to take on the Heat or you're going to take on the Celtics. You know that. Kawhi's a big but time player. You have, but – you know, if you lose that somehow, some way, would that be terrible? Of course, it would be disappointing. But you know you got LeBron and AD next year. Older. Okay. But you know that the Clipper fans would just never be able to open their mouths in a long-ass time. After getting Kawhi and Paul George. Nothing on the line tonight. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.